Okay, welcome to Images for page, uh, Google Page Ranking and Faster Download Speeds. Now, the first question I would ask if I was sat there as an audience is what on earth has images on your website got to do with Google Page Ranking? What is the connection? And hopefully over the next 30 minutes or so I will give you the answer to that. We'll also do some demonstrations and I'll point you towards some free online software to help you optimise your images. Okay, so before we all know this, but large images block page downloads and they reduce download speeds. If you're on a mobile phone somewhere and you've got a very poor signal um, and you happen to be trying to access a website that has um, several large images, it's just not going to work. Or if it does, it's going to be very, very slow. And I was in a physiotherapist in Clare the other month, waiting for my wife to come out, and I had my mobile phone, and I accessed several websites. Um, and I noticed that a couple of them were very, very slow in downloading. In fact, I thought one had crashed. Uh, and it took a minute before the first content started to come through. I'm not exactly sure what speed I had, on my mobile phone, but it's at least 2G or maybe a very low 3G. And the problem here is if you, if this is one of your customers looking for your website, um, or they're trying to find your website, they're trying to find services that you provide, and they're sitting there on their mobile phone and they can't access your website, you've lost the customer. So I, I get very high traffic, but I've got an appalling bounce rate, but then I think it's because probably the page is quite slow. Um, yeah, if you've got PNGs on there, just yeah. restrict them. I started using, because I'm, I'm rubbish on Photoshop, so I started using Canva, and they download as PNGs, and I thought, well, they, they must be better, so I started uploading those, so that's obviously what I was doing. <laughs> well, that files, you know, what is it, oh, the, um, the PNG optimizer I showed you, that uses a very clever modern technique uh, on vectors and it, it basically doesn't show every colour for every pixel. What it does is, is it um, creates a number of colours and it gives them an index number and it just points to the index. So rather than actually have those colours embedded in the image, it just points to which colours it should be. So there's some drastic um, compression that they can actually get now with a PNG which we didn't used to be able to get. Kevin was actually helping with the front page of my site and he re-optimised, very kindly re-optimised all my front page images, but it's still very slow. And I wonder if it's the Facebook feed at the bottom of doing it. There's a number of things, but if you do your um, page speed, it will, yeah. it will show you the other things that are slowing the site down. Because that's a bit of a known goal. When I said, right, I'll do your images, yeah. we'll get you up there in the green somewhere. And it came back, it only improved by about 10, I think, didn't it? I, I bet it's that flipping Facebook feed. So then you've got to think, well, there's something else slowing it down. Yeah. But page speed will show you what is slowing that site down. And it will give you um, ideas on what you can do. And then it will show you how much time you can save on that page. Well. This, this will be the sort of thing that if we're doing the project, would be an ideal yeah, thing really for, mm. for people to have them practice on the website as well. Yeah. Okay, well that's it for me, and that was optimising your images. Just I just hope... a copy of it uh, for us? Please. What I do is I send you, I can send you a copy of the whole thing if you like, yeah. it's easier. Yeah, yes. so I do that. Okay. Alright, thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.